ago in a faraway place. A mummy and daddy sat with a frown on each face. Mummy looked to daddy, who sat on his seat, and said, Our love is great, but our family's not complete. Daddy thought and thought, maybe, just maybe, if we wish on a star, we might have a baby. Mummy loved Daddy and Daddy loved Mummy. Their wish came true when there was a baby in Mummy's tummy. But in Mummy's tummy, the baby got sick. They went to a place where the doctors were magic. The magic doctors worked hard, and so did Mummy. To make sure Baby was safe in her tummy. Daddy and Mummy waited for things to get better. They wished to the fairies and even wrote them a letter. Dear fairies, my friends, you magical things, please help our baby with your magical wings. The fairies healed baby, starting with her head. Abracanana said a fairy called Ned. Then Baby started getting more and more well. Abracabel said fairy knew with a spell. When they got to Baby's legs, the magic ran low. The fairies were tired. They started to slow. Then Mummy and Daddy wished to Fairy Cecil. And they got a baby with legs super special. The fairies knew baby was wonderfully strong. So they made magic legs which were perfect and long. Baby's head was smart. She could do lots of things. Like counting to ten and going high on swings. Baby's hands were so clever, she even knew how to write. But her magical legs sometimes got tired and tight. The baby grew brave, so strong, so great. She worked so hard to improve her gait. Mummy and Daddy were delighted Baby was well. All because of doctors and the fairy spell. And on one day soon, when baby is grown, she'll learn how to walk all on her own. She'll sprint, jog and hop. She'll zoom oh so fast. She'll dance with her friends. They'll all have a blast. And the baby that was made with that enchanted spell was none other than you, the bravest Annabelle. So when you want to pounce, jump and spring, just remember you're Annabelle and you can do anything. <laughs>